Good morning from Montrose Old and St Andrew's Church and welcome to our short thought for the day. Following. Many people talk about following their team, especially their football team, or are proud to say that they are supporters. But that will mean different things to different people. For some, it will mean that they are seen at home games regularly on a Saturday. For some, it might literally be following their team around the country to away games, possibly even for a big team enjoying success, even travelling to Europe. Others will watch televised game matches and in some cases pay a premium to do so. Yet others will content themselves with hearing how their team fared at the weekend, being pleased if they secure a win being even better pleased if their position in the league is satisfactory. When it comes to following Jesus, we're apt to adopt a two-track approach. There's one track for especially keen believers, whether that was the disciples long ago or very devout people of modern times. And then there's a second track for ordinary believers, which will almost certainly include ourselves. Part of it is that we don't feel qualified to be in the first group. Our faith isn't strong enough. We aren't up to the challenges that would entail. Part of it is that we're not sure that that is really for us. But the thing is, there isn't any mention of two-track discipleship in the scriptures. We are all to follow Jesus. And if it's any comfort, none of us is adequate, not in our own strength, But Jesus wants each and every one of us to follow him and he's more than ready to equip us to play our part. The detail will vary from person to person. We are each unique with our distinct personality, traits, gifts and circumstances. But the common thread is that Jesus wants us to journey with him, accept his equipping and play our part in advancing his purposes of love and grace. We can't leave it to everyone else or his kingdom will be diminished. We've each to do our bit. We're not really serving a congregation, organisation or even a cause. It can look like that sometimes, but actually we're called to follow a person, Jesus. And though we can't walk and talk with him, he's still with us, prompting us, hearing our prayers, encouraging us and equipping us to love and serve him and others for his sake. So, let's not be armchair supporters. Let's be among those who, in our different ways, follow Jesus, journey with him, seek to do our utmost to further his loving purposes. We are each called to follow, but we're not alone. We're called to follow Jesus together. This isn't for saints or super believers. It's for each and every one of us, you and me included. Thanks for joining us. May the Lord bless you. Amen.